Hello， 大家好。Hello everyone。今天呢，我跟大家讲一下，我们人体发力过猛为什么会失去平衡。Today we will discuss about the body power and strength. How can we increase this strength? 在练习中国功夫里边，它讲究一是速度。When we practice Chinese kung fu, we have to talk about speed. 二是力量 Second, we talk about power. 三就是我们身体里的技巧性 And third, we talk about the body technique. 所以说呢，我们讲究速度。如果说你的速度，你不没有办法去控制你的速度，它可能说打回去以后啊，你的身体。When we talk about the speed, so for example, if you strike, if you do a punch, if you are not able to retract your punch, then your body will 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 lose its balance. 你想要你的这个速度啊又快，还不可以失去啊这种力量的平衡性，一定要练习啊我们里边的一个气。In order to project the proper power to your punch, combined with the speed, we need to work to develop our internal chi. So, 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 chi and li combined together, it creates the speed. In order to achieve this speed, we have to combine the power together with the internal chi. So, 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 when we practice chi, we have to know how to use it. 分上丹田、中丹田和下丹田。When we practice our chi, we have to practice the upper, middle, and lower dantian. 在这三个丹田里头啊，可以就是说练习你这个气，能感觉到它在这里边有有一种力量的时候。It, when you practice in these points your chi, you need to achieve the state. Of feeling your internal power. You want to use it, it can take a moment. Ah, you use your chi to guide your power. You see, you want to hit your right flank. Ah, your chi shoots and hits the right flank. So, if you want to strike a punch or to move towards your opponent, if you do not bring this chi from the dantian, the movement will be very slow. But if you are able to bring this chi, In your movements, then the movement will be very fast. You want to hit your right flank, your chi automatically goes to the right flank. So if you want to fight your opponent on the side, so the chi from the dantian goes very fast. So, 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 Projection of the speed and power, and we work on our chi. We also have to have a smooth blood flow. So, so you can practice well. You see, this blood flow is like your body flowing. Ah, the whole your from the front to the back, it can flow freely. So, in this way, the blood can flow freely through the meridians. So that you have a proper function of the meridians. 嗯，这就是人体的一个大周天。So you have the big circulation of the qi and blood in the body. 所以说，你想又平衡，还不失去速度的时候，就是你平衡了不失去速度，你要练练什么呢？把你的筋拉开。In order to have stability, balance on your legs when you practice, you have to also work to open up your tendons and ligaments. 因为说你的筋部不练习，他可能说啊，他的筋就像一个小手指头一样这么粗，啊，如果说通过你练习完以后呢，可能你的筋部呢就跟大拇手指头一样那么粗。So I will give you an example. So your tendons and ligaments they can be so small, so narrow, like for example the little finger. But when you practice them, and uh, we in, you you invest a lot of time in practicing them, they can become wide and uh, 
feet like the thumb. 所以说啊，你的气血流通的时间啊，你要是用小拇手指头不练，它可能说气血的速度想快，它就这么粗。So for example, if you don't practice, if you don't train your body, if you want to be uh to be fast. You know your speed. It's going to be uh, correlated with the dimension of the tendons and ligaments, like the little finger. 里边你想快，它这个速度和力量，它这个气血啊，就这么粗，它只能有阻碍。So if you want to be fast and you have a lot of power, well, there is no possibility because it's exactly like a narrow pipe. The more if you want to flow. Uh, to have a big flow through it is not possible. So, I say, now, our little finger, ah, you this practice, through practice, ah, like a knot is opened up. So, when you practice your tendons and ligaments, and they open up and become stronger, ah,、uh, like a big thumb. So, I say, your little finger's strength and speed are probably one hundred. So, for example, if you have the little finger. The speed and power, maybe one hundred. 通过练习呢，你的大拇指可能能练到三百。But if you practice to develop your tendons and ligaments, uh, like the thumb, then the power and speed can become three hundred. 所以说呢，这个力量就增长了三倍。So your power and speed will increase three times. 这就是说啊，这种能量增长了三倍。This is the the power. That you can add to your body. So, you know, you go out, you have to know to bring back the blood. So, for example, you have the movement, you strike, but the hand is coming back. This is called controlling your power. So, in this way, you actually work on uh, uh, protecting your power. Uh, so, for example, you are working on controlling your power. So, you know. 功夫里边讲究的就是说啊，打别人的时间打的要准，就是说打你的右眼啊，不能打你的左眼。So for example, in Chinese kung fu, if my target is to hit the left eye, you cannot hit the right eye because your target is not the right eye. 因为你这个身体里边的肌肉啊，通过每天去锻炼。它是有记忆的。So the more you practice your body, the more you practice your muscles, tendons, ligaments, meridians, you are uh, training your reflexes. 所以说呢，你要把时间还有你的距离要掌握好。距离就是说你的长短呢，跟它时间的距离你要算好。So for example, you have to make sure. That you practice a certain time and you have a certain timetable. So, if you have done well, then you can quickly get out of the house and get back home. When you practice well, you know how to strike fast and come back. Yes. Before, there was a video. Ah, that means when you get out of the house, you can say that the time is the time of the other person. Ah, the time of the other person's speed is the speed of the other. 你碰到对方时间，唰，你自己自己往上碰的时间，他去碰你，你自己就很快的反应回来。So there is a video that I had a couple of years back when I used my foot to strike uh, in a practice stand up uh, game, and、uh, when I hit the target, I hit the target in the and in that moment I retract the foot. So you have to reach that. Control of your body. So, so, na, 最后还有一个就是说我们的根 Another point in developing this strength and stability in your body is to create the roots for your feet. 就像我们的脚一样啊，一定要学会去抓地 When you practice, 扣住手，手要扣住脚。You, you got, you grab the the floor. Uh, so it's like the monkey's feet, which are grabbing, for example, a pole. This how your foot must be on the ground. You should never just have the foot flat on the ground. 
but the the toes are grabbing the floor. So, I say, na, foot, this, just like a tree, it has to have roots. These feet are grabbing the ground. They are like the roots of a tree. Your energy is greater. Your upper body strength is going to have to grab, grab the ground. The the stronger your power, the bigger your power, the stronger is the grabbing on the floor. From your feet. So, in practice, you have to practice. 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 You So when you uh, practice like this, you, when you practice to root your yourself on the ground, then it's quite unlikely that you will lose the the, the stability on the ground. So, 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 It's like consider a beginner. Six years. It's a beginner. Six years. It's considered a middle practitioner. Ten years. It's considered a Ten years. It's considered an advanced student. So, in practicing Kung Fu, don't be in a hurry. When you practice Kung Fu, don't be in a hurry. You want to make your body, you have to make sure your body is open. If you want to achieve all this stability and the chi to flow freely, you need to fully open up your body. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. This root of the shoulder is in this location. The roots of our legs is in here in the hips. So in practicing the roots, we need to open up the roots. So when we practice, when we practice our roots for the legs, we need to open up the roots. So when we practice, when we practice our roots for the legs, we need to open up the roots. So when we practice, when we practice our roots for the legs, we need to open up the roots. So when we practice, when we practice our roots for the legs, we need to open up the roots. So when we practice, when we practice our roots for the legs, And we are changing from one side to other. Shun shi, mei hua chuan, shun shi. Now we are practicing mei hua chuan by shi. We fully open the body. So, so, na, these are all practicing your jin bu, open. Those stances in mei hua chuan they help you to open your tendons and ligaments. Your jin bu. So they will also help to get rooted into the ground. I will uh, give you an example. So for example, I want to I want to keep this leaf. So if I am so far away, I cannot reach the leaf. 嗯，可能说我发力的时候，我吃我的我的底线，你看，吃能到这里。So for example, my body can reach a certain level, a certain distance. 如果对方呢去拉我，我这个身体也可以控制了。So if if an opponent wants to grab my hand, I actually have control over my hand. 如果我的身体这样，我对方可能一拉我，是打到对方了，我这个也失去平衡。So, for example, if uh, the if I am in unbalanced position, if the opponent grabs my hand, I also can control. So, I say, na, this force, force is very important. It's very important your strength. So, I say, na, want to practice this one, when I hit this, my force is not here. Oh, no problem. So, if I want to practice on this leaf, if I am in this distance, there is no problem. You know, I can breathe. 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 Breathe out. I can 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 breathe out.
uh, even if I am very close, but I am really fast. If I am not properly rooted, so if I uh, if I strike, you can see I lose my balance. And this is the difference between being rooted and being unrooted. So it's what you need to you guys notice that if I if if I am not properly rooted, I lose my balance if I strike. So is And all of this we have to combine with breathing. Qi and power we combine together. The blood and uh, the, the energy from the meridian we combine with the tendons and ligaments. Uh, this meridian's flow of qi and blood we combine with the rooting of the legs. So is one woman. So we have to keep our balance on that particular area where we are rooted. So if, you really, if you really want to move on one side and other, then make a step, but don't uh, stretch yourself uh, away from the, the roots of your legs. So it's very important you to understand this concept. Mm. Understand?